Hey guys, this is Morris here. Welcome back to the new video. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you GTA 5 ultra realistic graphics mod for your GTA San Andreas. You know, and this graphics mod is designed for your low-end PC and first of all, the gameplay you are seeing right now is 100% real and you will get exactly what you are seeing right now. So do you want to know how to install and how to use this graphics mod into your low-end PC? Please make sure to watch this video till But what do I mean by low-end PC? So let's listen the specification required in order to play this mod smoothly on your PC. Well listen carefully, while talking about our RAM, you need at least 2GB of RAM, any dual core processor and Intel HD graphics. Well, if you have this type of system requirements, then you can easily play this graphics mode into and on lowest setting as possible and 720p resolution. Now, talking about our recommended specs, in order to play this mode into 60fps constantly, you will need at least 4GB RAM, any quad core or dual core processor, and 1GB of dedicated graphics card. Well, if you don't have dedicated graphics card, then don't worry about it, you can still play this graphics mode on 60 fps so yeah that's all the specification of this mode we should move to our installation video so without any further ado let's get started today video guys but before we get started please make sure to leave a like on this video share this video to as, as much you can and if you are new then what are you doing and please make sure to hit the subscribe button and make sure to ring the bell icon so you my friend never miss any future upload so yeah without any further ado let's get started to the video guys all right guys so as you can see we are in our desktop screen and first thing you will need this file make sure to check description for more information and right click on the first file and then click on extract here it will take some time to extract the file into our desktop or any specific folder you want to extract now once the folder has been extracted then simply just open your game directory Just hold on, okay. Now once your game directory has been opened, then just open the folder that we have just extracted and then just drag and drop all of these files into your game directory and click on hit on replace if it asks. Okay. Now just run your env.exe or if you don't have env.exe then you can run your gdsa.exe, right? Now just run env.exe and then your game will 100% start. Now let me show you how it will. Alright guys, so as you can see we are in our game but our game is not opened fully so we have to open. Now choose any of this load game or new game. In my case I'm gonna choose this uh, load game. So it totally depends upon you how you want to open your game. Now just hold on a second till our game loads, right? And please make sure to do not skip the video, you know. Because if you have followed my every step then your game should start. Now if you have any trouble then you can let me know in the comment section i'll try to reply every comment all right guys so as you can see we are no game now let's go outside and see what happened all right i guess it's the night time so let's change the time and let's change the weather right now if you want your game looks like the intro gameplay then you have to change your weather to extra sunny right now once you did then your game will look like this right now let's take a car and right okay so i want to take a car but uh, cj loves bike riding you know so he took a bike anyway let's spawn a car randomly all right guys so as you can see our car has been successfully spawned and the reflections looks too awesome isn't it now one more thing i forget to tell you right just hold on Alright, so as you can see the beautiful lens player is looking too awesome, isn't it? So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching till and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to leave a like on this video, share this video to as much as you can. So yeah, as always, I'll see you into the next one. Till then, goodbye.